Welcome. This is 5-Minute Global News and English Listening Practice Series. Episode 65. English Pronunciation and both English and Traditional Chinese Transcripts are included. The first. Would you trust a robot with your finances? Original by Eleanor Butler, December 11, 2023, Euronews Business. Robo-advisors, automated financial services, have recently gained popularity. These platforms are affordable and easy for non-professional investors, using algorithms to develop personalized investment strategies. Although lacking human guidance, robo-advisors effectively manage portfolios, especially for those new to investing. Their reduced fees and ability to democratize investment advice could transform the financial sector and address inequality. However, trust remains a crucial factor in the adoption of robo-advisors. Studies suggest that automated financial advice is perceived as less biased than advice from human advisors, benefiting underrepresented groups. Although robo-advisors have limitations in complex financial situations that require softer factors like family dynamics, hybrid robo-advisors, combining automation with human expertise, provide a potential solution. As technology advances, the growth and acceptance of robo-advisors will depend on building consumer confidence and delivering transparent explanations of their decision-making processes. The second. One in four adults think smacking is necessary to properly raise kids. But attitudes are changing. Original by Yasmin Divna Haslam, December 12, 2023, The Conversation. One in four adults still believe that smacking is necessary to properly raise children, but there is a shift in attitudes. According to a recent study, Australians are beginning to reconsider the use of physical punishment as a disciplinary method. The United Nations Convention on the Rights of the Child considers smacking a violation of child rights, and it is banned in 65 countries. However, smacking remains legal in Australia under the condition of reasonable force for discipline. The study, which interviewed over 8,500 Australians aged 16 to 65, revealed that 6 in 10 Australians have experienced smacking or physical punishment in their childhood. Men were slightly more likely than women to have been physically punished. However, younger generations are less likely to use physical punishment, indicating a generational shift in parenting approaches. Furthermore, the study found that one quarter of Australians still believe that physical punishment is necessary, but the majority of the population disagrees. Socioeconomically disadvantaged individuals are more likely to support physical punishment compared to those without disadvantages. The third. Wireless tech could replace Bluetooth at short distances and boost battery life fivefold. Original by Kumar Zafifi Sabet, December 12, 2023, Live Science. Scientists have developed innovative wireless technology that extends battery life and could replace Bluetooth. This technology, called Electric Potential Sensing Communication, EPSCOM, operates on electric field modulation instead of traditional radio configurations like Wi-Fi, 5G, and Bluetooth. By utilizing voltage amplifiers and untuned electrodes, EPSCOM consumes less power than Bluetooth, enabling longer device operation on a single charge and facilitating device miniaturization. In experiments, the optimized EPSCOM consumed 10 times less power than Bluetooth, potentially resulting in device batteries lasting between 4 and 5 times longer. With a data throughput of up to 600 kilobits per second, EPSCOM is suitable for audio, video, and virtual reality applications. Although EPSCOM's electrical signals travel shorter distances than Bluetooth, this trade-off reduces the chances of eavesdropping or signal interference. Rather than replacing Bluetooth entirely, EPSCOM may complement it in future devices, dynamically switching between the two technologies to optimize range and power consumption. We are really grateful that you took the time to listen. If you find value in this video, please consider sharing, liking, and subscribing. Also, do not forget to turn on the notification bell. A wonderful day to you all.